Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over how to convert the equation of a circle from general to standard form. Before we take a look at the example, we're going to go ahead and do a real quick review on the forms of the equation of a circle. Okay, So we have the general form, which is the form that we're going to be um, starting from. The general form of the equation of a circle is given by um, x square plus y square plus a x plus b y plus c equals zero. Okay, so we're going to be taking a look at um, an example where the equation of the circle is presented in this form, and our goal is to convert it into the standard form. The standard form of the equation of a uh, circle is also known as the center radius form. Okay, It's called the center radius form because you can easily determine the center and the radius from the um, standard form of the equation of a circle. Okay, So the standard form is given by x minus h quantity square plus y minus k quantity square equals the radius square. Okay, So with the, stand, with the standard form, also known as the center radius form, you can easily determine the center, which is h comma k, and the radius, which is the square root of the constant to the right side, r. Okay, so let's take a look at um, the example. The instructions are for us to write the equation of the given circle in standard form. So you have to write it in standard form and determine the um, center and radius. Determine the center and radius. Okay? Alright, so let's say we have the following equation of a circle in um, general form x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 8y plus 24 equals 0. Okay? Alright, so reminder this is the general form of the equation of a circle. Our goal is to express this in standard form, also known as the center radius form. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to separate our variables. Visualize it as being in two worlds. We have the x world and the y world. Okay, So all the variable terms with um, an X associated with them, we're going to put them together and then the same applies with the Y. So if we want to rewrite this, we rewrite this as X square and then 6 has an X next to it minus 6X. So these are the two terms with X's in them and then we have plus Y square and then we have 8Y. Now 24 has neither an X nor a Y associated with it so we have to simply move it to the other side of the equation. To accomplish this, we'll simply subtract 24 from both sides of the equation. So we have this situation equals negative 24. Now what we're going to do is we're going to partition our equation down the center. Okay, just to give us a visual um, separation um, of the two variables that we're going to be working with. Okay, so what we have in the x and y worlds are incomplete squares. Our goal is to complete the square by adding the appropriate constants to both worlds so we can have two perfect square trinomials that can be factored and expressed as a quantity squared. Okay, so what completes the square here? 
Well, to complete the square, we are going to add a constant that can be determined by simply adding on. For the x world, we're going to add b of the x world divided by 2 quantity square. So if you remember the completing the square algorithm, if you want to complete the square, you add b over 2 square. Okay. So since we have two worlds and two completing the square um, situations to work with, we want to separate them by using the index associated with the respective variable. So b of x is with the x world and then for the y world, to complete the square there, we're going to add the same thing but it's going to be b of the y world divided by 2 quantity squared. So that completes the square on the right side of our partition, the y world. So this is uh, this introdu introducing these two constants have changed the left side of the equation. So to compensate for that change, we have to do exactly the same thing on the right side of the equation in order to preserve equality. Okay, so we're going to add what we added to the x world, which is b of x over 2 quantity square. And then uh, what we added to the y world, uh, b sub y over 2 quantity squared. Okay? All right, so let's compute what b of y over 2 square is and b of x over 2 square. So let's do some scratch work to the side here. Now, um, b of y, um, let's do x first. b of x um, is the coefficient of x. So um, imagine you have ax squared plus bx plus c. This is the b for the x world right here. So b of x is 6. Actually, it's negative 6. So what we'll do is we'll divide it by 2 negative 3 and we're going to square that. So b of x over 2 square is negative. When you square a negative it becomes positive. So negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Alright, so that's a constant that will complete the square in the x world. In the y world, b of y, you have ax squared plus by, ay squared plus by plus c. So the coefficient of y is your b for the y world, which is positive 8. The same procedure as we did with the b of x divided by 2, which is 4. And when we square that, b over 2, quantity square, we get 16. Okay, so these are the two numbers we're going to be introducing to both sides of the equation, so we can have two perfect square trinomials. Okay. So we're going to have x squared minus 6x plus the term that makes this a perfect square trinomial, 9. In the y world, we have y squared plus 8y plus that term that makes this a perfect square trinomial, 16. Now that's equal to negative 24, and we add those same numbers, plus 9 and plus 16. Okay, now on the left side we have two perfect square trinomials because they're in the form ax squared plus 2ab um, plus b squared. So uh, let's go ahead and um, factor them. So we can factor this using different factorization methods but since it is a perfect square trinomial we can simply root the first term and the last term and bring down the middle sign to complete the factorization of this um, perfect square trinomial. So we're going to have x minus 3 quantity square. That completes the square for the uh, x world. For the y world, the same procedure. You just square root the first term and the last term and bring down the middle sign. So for the y world we have y plus 4 quantity square. Now when we combine these numbers to the right, negative 24 plus 9 plus 16 is the same thing as 
negative 24 plus 25, which is positive 1. Ladies and gentlemen, guess what? We have achieved the standard form or the center radius form of the equation of the circle. So let's write it down. This is the standard form. Okay. So this is part of the task expressing the original equation in standard form. We are also asked to determine the center and radius. So the center is HK. To find H, you take the opposite of the number here. So we have minus 3, so it's going to be positive 3 for H. And then K, you take the opposite of positive 4, which is negative 4. And that is the center. And the radius can be accomplished by taking the square root of the constant to the right. Square root of 1 is just 1. So these are the properties of the circle. Okay, now what you can do is you can pause uh, the video after I write down these questions and you can try out these problems just to see if you've mastered the art of um, writing equations in standard form. Okay, so try these. The task is to express the given um, equations the given circle equations, express them in a standard form. That's the task, okay? So for number one, we have x squared plus y squared minus 16x minus 18y plus 129 equals 0. For number 2, try x squared plus y squared plus 20x plus 4y plus 55 equals 0. And then for number 3, try x squared plus y squared plus 26x plus 10y plus 169 equals 0. Okay, so you can pause the video at this time and work through these problems. I'm going to give you a few seconds to do that and then I'm going to put up the answers and you can check your work um, as soon as you're done. All right, let's see how well you did. These are the answers to the questions for question one. The uh, standard form is given by x minus 8 quantity square plus y minus 9 quantity square equals 16. The answer to number 2 is x plus 10 square plus y plus 2 square equals 49. And then number 3 it's x plus 13 square plus y plus 5 square equals 25. Okay, so hopefully you got all your answers correct. If you have any problems with any of these answers, um, just feel free to post a comment in the comment section of this video and we'll be glad to provide you with assistance. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your studies of conic sections, um, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very uh, valuable to us. If you have any questions about the contents of this presentation or the example problems that we um, provided, just place your questions in the comment section below and um, we'll be more than glad to um, respond to you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for um, updates to new tutorials that we update, upload to our site on a consistent basis. And if you like um, access to more practice resources, do visit our website at mathgotserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.